Uh, my inspiration to begin racing really was just uh, I had a great passion for driving, not really so much race cars, just from a young age, kind of about four or five, I had a quad. Um, we had some land next to our house uh, where I live. And I just used to love driving, really, my quad. Uh, then I got a grass buggy, used to really love driving that. Um, so I just had a great passion for driving. And then I went on a holiday to Cornwall, had to go on a rental car, and then I really loved it. Um, so I came back, um, looked up on the internet, go-karting. Um, and then that's where it all started, really, got, got, got a go-kart. And I was off, I was began my racing adventure. My F1 idol has to be Michael Schumacher when I was growing up, um, especially in my younger days, kind of eight or nine, he was um, really dominant in the sport when he, when he was with Ferrari, just w winning numerous titles and things that was, um, and a lot of our family friends were Schumacher supporters, so that really inspired me to follow him and obviously seeing how well he was doing on the track, um, it was just really inspiring, so yeah, I looked up to him at a young age and uh, still do really, what he did was phenomenal, the way he went about his work, he was just um, a real game changer for the sport. My career highlight today has got to be um, my first season in single-seater racing. Uh, I moved straight into Formula Renault 2-litre Northern European Cup and I managed to claim the title in my first season. So obviously it's first year in cars, um, first year racing on European circuits and to be able to win the title was um, a great achievement and yeah, I, I, that, that is the highlight so far. Um, well, my spare time is probably a little bit different to most usual racing drivers. Uh, I work for my dad who runs a, a karting circuit in Newark. So in, when I'm not racing, most of the time I'm there working, sort of doing whatever jobs need doing really, anything from cutting the grass to helping him service the go-karts or just things like that. Um, but I also spend quite a lot of the time in the gym preparing for races because that's a key part, so that takes up a lot of time as well. Uh, to be fair, I think my favourite circuit is probably Silverstone, where we are today, just because obviously it's on home soil, um, a, a massive big track, a uh, lot of fast corners, a lot of fast challenging corners, that is, and to, to, for it to be on home soil just makes it even more special. Um, to be honest, our fitness training is really a uh, key part to racing. If you're not fit enough, you really struggle to concentrate. Um, so it has to be intense just to be able to um, match the demands that you need when you are in the car. I train at least two or three times a week with Porsche Human Performance, which is based here at Silverstone. And when I'm not with them, I'm also training at home uh, for the other days just to make sure that I am in full, uh, the peak fitness that I can be and just make sure that if I'm ready for any challenge that I get thrown into. Well, in my previous years, um, race preparation, I've have studied it a lot, you know, watching video and team briefings, but here at High Tech, they're really up in the game in, the, in that department. We're gonna have um, sort of very in-depth race, race briefings as well as um, very critical simulator sessions with um, where we're gonna just go into much more detail than what I have been doing before. So I'm sure that's gonna be a, a, a big factor in helping me make sure I get to the tracks 100% ready and know exactly what I need to do. If I could choose any driver to race against, I would have to say uh, Ayrton Senna really, because obviously he is, he is well known within the sport as the best that there ever was. So, um, you know, we are always aspiring to be the, the best drivers that we can be. So to know if you are the best, you really have to go up against the best. So it'd be nice to race someone like that, see how you compare and uh, see if you really do truly have it. Because obviously we always race against each other in a series and uh, you know we do manage to be at the top of our game when it comes to racing against them. So to go against the best that there ever was, um, that would be amazing. Well, my goal is definitely to try and get to Formula One, but obviously it's uh, it's a very difficult game that, that we're in. It's a very difficult sport to make it to the top. So, uh, yeah, like I said, F1 is the goal, the dream goal, but um, uh, with it being such a hard target, being, becoming a professional driver is, um, is a key goal for me.